right, welcome back to another episode of uh, the RC Flight School. Uh, Logan here just wrapped up his first flight sim lesson, and uh, job well done in uh, in beginner mode. And if you remember from the previous episodes, beginner mode in safe it really it limits your your bank angle, it limits your pitch, um, it really helps keep the aircraft under control. And you saw that with the with the uh, the flight sim. You noticed mm -hmm. that it uh, you weren't able to really bank the airplane, do a knife edge turn, you weren't able to do an aileron roll or do a loop, but you were able to get the aircraft up and back down again in under control without any issues. So it did a great job uh, on the, uh, the flight sim, but now it's time to move you to a little bit more advanced. We're gonna take a little bit of those training wheels and we're going to, uh, if you remember when you le learned how to ride a, a bicycle, you know, first those training wheels are right on the ground, right? Doesn't allow you to do much. Well, now we're gonna lift those training wheels up a little bit and we're gonna have you try intermediate mode. And intermediate mode in safe means you get more bank angle, you get more pitch up and down, you could do a little bit more, you could turn a little bit tighter, uh, the aircraft um, becomes a little bit more responsive that way, you have a little bit more authority in the air. So we're gonna do something uh, very similar, um, except for I'm actually not even gonna have control of the aircraft at all, I'm not even gonna demo it for you, I'm gonna turn you loose in intermediate mode with the Habu, and I want you to take off and we're gonna do this exact same thing. You do a pre-flight check. You're gonna announce your takeoff. And I want you to do a uh, racetrack pattern, mm -hmm. um, circle, figure eight. And then I want you to land, reset, turn the aircraft around, announce, do a pre-flight check, announce your takeoff, take off in the other direction and do the exact same thing, come down for landing. And that's gonna prove that you can handle intermediate mode. Now, in reality, it may take you a number of flights with the Habu to get comfortable uh, before you go into intermediate mode. In the flight simulator, there's almost no risk. I mean, mm -hmm. you just hit the reset button. <laughs> there's nothing, nothing's gonna happen. Um, but just for the sake of time, uh, I don't think anyone wants to watch uh, Logan tool around the sky for uh, 10 episodes uh, learning how to fly in, in beginner mode. So. Well, we may have a lot more flights in beginner mode on the actual Habu, we're gonna move you right into intermediate mode in uh, this next session. And then, like I said, just repeat the same steps we did in beginner mode, but you'll notice that the aircraft's gonna have more, more bank, it's gonna have more pitch, you're gonna have a lot more control, a lot more authority in the air. And that's to set you up for experience mode, which will be the next episode we're gonna take those training wheels and we're gonna throw them away and Logan's gonna be on his own and you're gonna demonstrate that you can indeed do the exact same thing again, fly that racetrack pattern, fly a set of circles, fly a set of figure eights, come in for a landing and, and do that. Um, and then our very last one, uh, we're gonna give you a, just a little bit of taste of aerobatics. We're gonna do a loop and, a, uh, and an aileron roll, just to kind of say you can do it. Um, mm -hmm. And then we'll move you into the, um, the check ride portion where you'll be completely on your own, in experience mode to do everything uh, hands off from, from the instructor and then you'll be signed off to go fly. But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, why don't we go ahead and uh, move over to the flight sim and let's crank up uh, intermediate mode and let's see how Logan does, shall we? Mm hmm definitely, I'm excited. Great, awesome, we're doing well so far, so let's just move those training wheels up a notch, go into intermediate mode and get you some sick time. All right, Logan, nicely done in uh, beginner mode there. We've uh, talked about moving into intermediate mode. So we've moved the, uh, the safe selector switch to the middle um, selection there. So we have beginner mode, intermediate mode, and, and experience mode. So once again, I'm, we're gonna do the exact same thing again. You, uh, I'm actually not even gonna, I decided with how you did on that last flight, I'm gonna just go ahead and turn the controls over to you and not demonstrate it myself. I want you to do the same thing again. Control uh, surface check. Go ahead and announce your takeoff, put it into the air, do your racetrack pattern, circle, figure eight, and come in for landing, but we're gonna do it in intermediate mode, all right? So the training wheels are off just a little bit. The winds are still at uh, zero, but um, might throw a curveball in there, but you just uh, get in the air and we'll see what happens, all right? All right. Okay, what'd you forget to do? Oh, yep, I forgot. All right, um, pre-flight tracks. Okay, so right aileron. Up to aileron, up elevator, down elevator, um, right rudder, left rudder. Okay, good job. And then now it's your takeoff. Up, taking off from left to right. Okay. And here we go. Power up. Nicely done. Nice smooth power application as well. Nicely done. You don't jam the power full on there. That was well done. Okay, full throttle. 
All right, you're in the air. Nicely done. Okay, begin your uh, got a nice climb out. Well, you notice right there how much difference yeah. is it than beginner mode. Huh? You pull that power down and you see the aircraft begins to descend almost uh, right away. And a little bit more responsive, isn't it? Definitely. Yeah, you got more pitch authority, you got more roll authority. So uh, there you go. Maintain about that altitude and repeat your racetrack pattern. Um, because this is a little bit different than uh, beginner mode, why don't you go ahead and do an extra loop of, or an extra round of uh, racetrack. Um, yeah. Very responsive, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Oops, so, um, very gentle on the sticks, so you move them f much less. So imagine there's like a, like, a, like a nickel or dime on top of each one of those sticks, and try not to move outside of that, that range, all right? So try to just do very, very gentle inputs, the least amount of input needed in order to uh, make the airplane do what you want it to do. All right. You can be a little bit more forceful on the sticks in beginner mode than you can in intermediate mode. Oops. Yeah. yeah. A lot more pitch authority in intermediate mode. Okay. If you notice your racetracks are off kilter just a little bit, um, mm -hmm. but go ahead and bring it back again and let's just get a nice racetrack pattern established. Okay. There you go. Yep, just little inputs. Very, very smooth inputs. Okay. There you go. Yeah, just do the least amount necessary to get the airplane to do what you want it to do. So now begin your turn. Get it right down the center of that runway. There you go. Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, set up to, let's do your, uh, set up to your circles and your figure eights, shall we? All right. Oh, sorry, my, that was my bad, I bumped the button. My apologies. Okay. That was uh, a little bit creepy. Yeah, moving on. We'll call that what happens when a bug flies in your face and you have to uh, <laughs> look away and look back again. Yeah. So my apologies for that. Sir. Yep, let's get it back into a pattern here. Okay, I have up. I did give you a five mile an hour wind there. Uh, you didn't know that was coming, so I just gave you a little bit of a wind. It's actually a little bit higher at altitude there, so I'm just going to bring that down just a touch. There you go. Because wind does increase as you uh, gain altitude. There you go. Okay, do a nice smooth circle. You can use less bank, nice and smooth. Oops. Yep, got behind you there, so all right. It's usually about where the instructor would probably take over to uh, keep you from going behind you and the mm -hmm. flying field. Because the flight line there is kind of like the do not fly zone behind it, because that's where the, the rest of the uh, the club members are. All right. Yep, so a lot less bank. You can see how it's getting difficult to orient at the airplane, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So yeah. much, much smoother inputs. Uh, just a little bit of turns, a little bit of input. You got a lot, you're putting a lot into it still. There you go. Okay, so let's just try to just do a nice circle, right? So hold altitude, uh -huh. yep, little bit, just a tiny, tiny inputs on the controls, tiny inputs. There you go. Yep, you'll be surprised how responsive this aircraft is. You don't need a lot of input to get it to do stuff. Definitely. Now, if you're flying like my uh, great big B-17 or something, it needs a lot of input because it flies like a sluggish bomber. If you're flying something like uh, my F-16 or a P-51 uh, or any type of a sport plane, you'll notice once again, you need very little input in order to get the airplane to react. Okay, let's do a figure eight. There you go, little inputs. Back the other way, good. You're maintaining a pretty good altitude on here too. 
uh, which is important. You're not you're really going up too up and down too much. You're keeping it within a within like a band of altitude. Go kept it in front of you a little close, but you still kept it out there. So good. Why don't you go ahead and re get it back into a racetrack pattern? All right. All right. There you go. All right, now go ahead and set up for our landing, all right? Okay. So call it out, you're at downwind right now. So usually towards the end of downwind, I'll call out that I'm gonna be landing. So as you get kind of down to the end of the field. Okay, call right. it out. Landing from left to right. Make your turn to base. Nicely done. Base to final. And pull your power down. Power down. Power down. Okay, you're over the tall stuff. So let's go ahead and bring it down. There you go. Turn a little bit to the left. There you go. Nicely done. There! Um, yeah! You got it down and right in, pretty much in the center mm -hmm. of the runway there. The approach was a little off, but so you know, it's quite a bit different intermediate mode, isn't it? Definitely. Yeah, so, all right. Yeah, the only thing is just uh, far less input. So if you don't hand me the, uh, the controller mm -hmm. here, so uh, you're gonna wanna just kind of move. You see how much movement I'm making there? Mm -hmm. um, just a little bit of aileron movement, a little bit, you know, just real small little movement. You, you don't have to go anywhere like this. Uh, you basically are using just a tiny bit um, in order to maintain okay. control. Now, when we go into experience mode, there's nothing that's going to stop you from continually rolling. So that's where it's mm -hmm. going to be really important to, um, to use this little teeny tiny inputs on it, all right? So, but otherwise, no, job well done. I mean, considering you went from beginner mode to intermediate mode and it was one flight. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, we would never do that in real life. So you've mm -hmm. done very well with that. But uh, I think we're gonna give a couple more flights on uh, on intermediate mode here, um, just to get you some more practice. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna kind of do those off camera just to get you uh, some more flight experience, and then we're gonna go into experience mode, and then you'll have no training wheels at all. So all right. now, granted, we were gonna do a, um, a, a pattern the other direction, but um, I think for this one, I think I'll just have you do it um, off camera to just get you some extra practice. Mm -hmm. um, and go that direction as well. So we'll uh, we'll cut this video at this point and uh, give you some extra time to practice, and then mm -hmm. we're going to go back to the uh, the table here to talk about going to experience mode. All right. All right. So what, what do you think of your flight in intermediate mode compared to beginner mode? I think I need a bit more practice, at, like less input, but um, I think once I get the practice down, it's going to be really fun. Okay, good. All right, well, I'll turn this back over to you and uh, let you go ahead and uh, get the aircraft back up in the air again, all right? All right.